Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, Election Day is four days away and Benton County is giving people an extra opportunity to cast their vote. We have one and where coming up. Plus, police released details on the suspect believed to be involved in the ballot box fires in Washington and Oregon. We have his detailed description. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. It is Friday, November 1st. I hope you all had a happy Halloween and happy first day of November. We're going to go ahead and start your top stories off with election coverage. There are four days until Election Day, and we know filling out your ballot can be confusing from the choices you have to make and knowing what your choice means. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma further breaks down what Initiative 2117 means for us here in this area. Earlier this week, I explained how voting no on I-2117 would affect people and public transit in the Tri-Cities. But now I'm going to explain what voting yes on I-2117 will affect you and your wallet. Let's Go Washington spokeswoman Holly Balch says this initiative is about saving people money and part of that is by removing the Climate Commitment Act. It has increased gas prices by about 50 cents per gallon. It's increased utility bills in some places by about 40% and it's contributed to the continuing inflation that we've seen across the country. Balch says although they are repealing the CCA with the initiative, it will not affect the state's carbon goal. But it wouldn't repeal, like the standard would still be there. So the state still would have that goal ahead of them that they need to repeal, or that, sorry, they need to reduce carbon emissions by I don't know, what is it, 95% or something by 2050? That would stand, but it would take away the carbon trading, the credit program, and the, all of the tax associated with it. Balch says one of the ways the CCA has made a dent in Washingtonians' wallets is by upping the utility bills up to 40%. She also says the bank doesn't stop at utility costs, but also in gas prices. Oil producers and energy producers in the state are being taxed. They have to buy carbon credits based on how much they think that they're going to produce. However, they aren't taxing those producers based on the amount that they make. They're taxing them on the amount that they sell. Balch says this is how voting yes on I-2117 would help. Essentially, those the oil producers are just passing their costs down to um, drivers and making them cover the cost of the carbon credits. Uh, so as soon as those carbon credits go away, we're confident that the prices will also um, decrease because that's what we've seen any other time carbon credits have been instituted across the nation. Balch says Let's Go Washington was motivated to put this initiative on a ballot for you to vote on after hearing from people how expensive the cost of living has been. Balch says Governor Inslee said it would cost people pennies and drop gas prices, which did not happen. The group wants to hold the government accountable. Reporting in Kennewick, your voice, your vote, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Election news, Benton County is making sure everyone who wants to vote gets the chance to this Saturday. The Benton County Auditor says they aren't usually open on Saturdays, but with this election, there's been heavier traffic. She says a lot of people are coming in close to closing. So from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. tomorrow, they'll be open at the Benton County Voting Center. It's located at 2618 North Columbia Center Boulevard, and they'll also be at the Prosser Courthouse at 620 Market Street. The auditor is also reminding us you don't have to live in Benton County to stop by and register. In Washington State, we have what's called universal uh, registration, meaning that if for some reason that you can't make it to your own auditor's office, uh, to register to vote or get a ballot, we're able to get you all set up. So if for some reason somebody's here visiting from across the state and they're not going to be able to make it back to their own uh, um, auditor's office, say in King County, uh, before the election, they're certainly more than welcome to come here and we can get them all set up. You'll be able to register to vote, get a replacement ballot, or receive one over the counter. There will also be accessible voting units at both locations along with voter pamphlets. Another reminder, we have a page on our website dedicated to the election. Just go to applevalleynewsnow.com and click on politics. 
Now to an update on the series of ballot box fires in both Portland and Vancouver, Washington. Portland police have released new details about the suspect wanted in connection with the arsons. Investigators believe the suspect is responsible for two ballot box arsons on Monday. The ballots in Portland were mostly unaffected, but the fire in Washington destroyed many. Authorities describe the suspect as a Caucasian male between the ages of 30 to 40 with balding or very short hair and a medium to thin build. He was last seen wearing a dark shirt and they say he has a thin face. Authorities also say the suspect has a wealth of knowledge or experience in metal fabrication and welding. They believe the suspect plans to continue these attacks. In some more crime-related news, West Richland Police are investigating two separate incidents of vandalism at popular city parks. It happened at the Bombing Range Sports Complex and at the Heights and Red Mountain Park. Both suffered several thousand dollars in damages. There are no leads, so police are asking for help from the public, and police don't believe the two incidents are connected. We'll continue to update you once we know more information. Now to King County, authorities are investigating a fiery crash that left one man trapped inside a burning car. Brady Wakayama says deputies and a group of Good Samaritans jumped into action to rescue him. I very easily could have died and been dead and not be here right now. Jacob Shook is recovering at this Harborview Medical Center hospital bed. Glad to be alive. Six broken ribs, a burst bladder, third degree burns up and down both my legs burn on my foot then there was a pretty bad burn on my hand but it's healing up these injuries are the result of a crash that happened while he was driving home from work starting to fall asleep oh i need to find somewhere to park and the next thing i know waking up to my loved one standing around me in the hospital talking about you've been in a coma for the last three days on october 9th shook veered off newcastle golf club road near 136th avenue southeast we need more fire extinguishers Body cameras recorded King County deputies and several citizens responding. Deputies deployed fire extinguishers, but couldn't open the door. Get out of here! It looked like an inferno in there. It looked like what you would imagine hell is like. Like every time they would lift the um, airbag thing up, it's just smoke and flames. You know what I mean? And to imagine that I was just sitting in there like. Thank God I don't remember that. A deputy used a knife to the seatbelt, but still couldn't get him out. Within minutes, Bellevue Fire arrived at the scene, doused the flames, and pried open the door. I'm very happy he's alive. You know, we could very easily be burying him. That's Jacob's mother, Luann, who's been by his side since the crash happened, both grateful for the courage of strangers. To the deputies and to the civilians but just my gratitude and thankfulness to them to be willing to put their safety on the line to to get me out of that car shook says he will be in the hospital for a few more weeks and shook's family has created an online fundraiser to help raise money for his medical bills up next on good morning northwest what the presidential candidates are up to today your political news is going to be after the break and as we go to break we're playing Umbrella by Rihanna because it will get stuck in your head today because we saw some rain, so you might need your umbrella. Keep it here. We'll be right back. The last few years have been tough on Washington families who are facing record prices and wages just haven't kept up. But it's been a great few years for Congressman Dan Newhouse. Since he first got elected in 2015, his net worth has climbed from $2 million to almost $19 million. How'd he do that? By trading stocks of corporations that he votes to give billions of taxpayer dollars. It's time to put an end to Congressman Dan Newhouse's stock market hot streak. I'm Jared Sessler, and I approve this message. What are you up to, Alice? Well, the nice mechanic asked me to check the pulleys. Wow, I just realized you can see things we can't. I've always wondered what's in those small windows. It's marketing. So that's where they hide out. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including bowling, a ropes course, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. What does Dino Casting Call mean? That seems bad. I'll get my resume ready.
It's painfully obvious that Jared Sessler's 30% national sales tax will drive up prices. Prices will go up 30% on groceries, gas, bills, and even houses. Inflation is bad enough. Just imagine paying 30% more. Sessler supports a massive 30% tax increase on everything you buy. You can't afford Jared Sessler, Mr. 30%. National Interest Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. In his first term, Perry Dozier has delivered significant results as your senator. Perry has stood firm in support of law enforcement and supporting laws that will make our streets safer. Eastern Washington is a leader in energy production. Perry Dozier is fighting to ensure these resources are protected. And as a farmer, Perry knows how devastating inflation is to working families. He's supporting policies to reduce the cost of production and opposing any new taxes. I'm Perry Dozier, and I will continue to work hard for you. What have we got? The Andersons. All night, tossing and turning, bad backs, sleep score at an all-time low. Round up the team. At Denver Mattress, going undercover is literally how we solve problems. And when we find sleepers waking up with aches and pains, we turn to the Tempur-Pedic Adapt, designed for ultimate pressure relief that uniquely adapts to your body's pressure points. The Temper Adapt features innovative technology, so you get deep, undisturbed rest all night long. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. This newscast, sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Welcome back. The Seattle Kraken have had a frustrating last few games, losing their last three going into the game against the Montreal Canadiens. One player who stood out is defenseman Brandon Montour. Now, the Kraken was released on Montreal as they took out their frustrations on the half scoring just seconds into the game. Brandon Montour was on such a hot streak, I'm surprised the ice didn't melt under him. The Kraken defenseman netted his first career hat trick in the NHL and one assist in the 8-2 thumping of the Canadians. This is a game that obviously you remember and you know you cherish it and you enjoy it with obviously the, the guys and um, you know we keep carrying it in here. Montour has had a year helping the Florida Panthers win their first ever Stanley Cup to signing a seven-year, $50 million contract with Seattle in the offseason. Montour says his monster game wouldn't happen without the help from his teammates. Returning to political news now, there are now four days until Election Day. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are focusing on the Midwest today, and this after several events in battleground states in the West. Trump has rallies in Michigan and Wisconsin, and Harris has three events in Wisconsin. ABC's Perry Russom has more. With four days left until Election Day, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump working late into the night trying to mobilize voters in the West. Harris slamming Trump in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is someone who is increasingly unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance. Trump in Glendale, Arizona at an event billed as a hurricane relief benefit, going after former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who endorsed Harris. Trump using violent rhetoric as he called Cheney a war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington. Trump earlier in Henderson, Nevada, saying Robert F. Kennedy Jr., a vaccine skeptic, will oversee women's health if he wins. He's going to work on health and women's health and all of the different reasons because we're not really a wealthy or a healthy country. Harris responding on X, writing, no. Harris at a rally in Reno, Nevada, reacting to Trump, saying he will protect women whether they like it or not. This is someone who simply does not respect the freedom of women or the intelligence of women to make decisions about their own lives. Trump on the attack, pouncing on this comment made by billionaire Mark Cuban on The View. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. It's just that simple. They're intimidating to him. He, does, he doesn't like to, to be challenged by them. Trump posting, he is very wrong. I surround myself with the strongest of women with the understanding that all women are great, whether strong or not strong.
Now, more than 62 million Americans have already voted across the country, and data shows women outpacing men in early voting 54 to 44 percent. And reminder, we will be with you on election night with live results both on air and online, and you can find all that coverage on applevalleynewsnow.com. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, now that Halloween is behind us, it's time to look ahead to the holidays, which means holiday shopping. We have where you can get a head start on scoring some special gifts locally. And you might want to keep that umbrella with you. We're playing Umbrella by Rihanna as we go to break. It was raining when I was coming in, and this song will get stuck in your head, and you'll remember your umbrella. Keep it here. We'll be right back. It's the pre-Black Friday sale at Furniture Row, and that means the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend, or score 60 months no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The pre-Black Friday sale, on now at Furniture Row. Prices are higher, plants closed, jobs lost, and Curtis King has made it worse. Voting against more affordable housing, against lower cost prescription drugs. King is a multi-millionaire career politician in office for 17 years. He's not for us. We're working hard. We deserve a state senator who does too. That's Maria Beltran. Maria's from here. She's worked in the orchards. She knows us. And Maria Beltran has a plan for lower costs, for affordable housing, for more opportunities. Maria Beltran, she's for us. Too many politicians are too busy fighting each other. But I just want to get things done to make people's lives better. I'm Maria Cantwell. I led a bipartisan initiative to bring computer chip manufacturing and other supply chains back to America, generating billions in private sector investment to make the chips that run our cars, our appliances, and even our farm equipment, creating jobs, boosting our competitiveness, and lowering costs. It's beginning to work. That's why I approve this message. You love the internet. But do you love your internet? Is your bundle a bundle of joy? Do you celebrate your contract's anniversary? No? You should meet Zigli Fiber. High-speed fiber optic internet means more freedom, more reliability, more speed on all your family's devices, all at the same time. <sighs> Happily ever faster. Zipply Fiber. Call one 888 ziply or visit ZipliFiber.com slash GoZipli. Plans as low as 10 bucks a month. For over 30 years, Denver Mattress has been improving the sleeping lives of millions, one night at a time. And during the pre-Black Friday sale, save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or get 60 months no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. A cold November wind blows the Buccaneers into... What happened to your eye? I told you, Ma, the Bucks are playing the Chiefs this week. Gotta go, love you. The Bucks and the Chiefs, Monday Night Football at 5. Next Live, Juliana Margulies and Jackie Joan, plus fall fun bargains with Monica Mangan. Why didn't I invent this? Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Today at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Good Friday morning, everyone. It is a damp start to your Friday. We do have scattered showers out there and even some snow falling across the higher elevations of the Cascades. Now, the rain is a bit spotty and scattered in nature, and it is light on for the most part, I should say. But the chance for rain will stay with us into the afternoon and evening evening hour. So be sure to grab the umbrella as you head out this morning. It is wet in Connell down into the Tri-Cities. We do have a little bit of break in Walla Walla right now, but more showers will be pushing in shortly. And there's also some more showers to the west of Yakima at this hour. We are seeing temperatures in the 40s and 50s. So it is a chilly start this morning. It's 50 in Tri-Cities, 50 Walla Walla, 51 in Hermiston, and it is colder as you get up into Ellensburg and Cleallum. Cleallum, 37 at this time, 41 degrees in Ellensburg, and we're at 43 degrees in Yakima. 
So as you're heading off to work on this Friday, grab the rain gear and we will likely see scattered showers on and off throughout the day as temperatures climb into the mid to upper 50s, which is right around average for this time of year. Now we are going to see more showers stick around as we head into the upcoming weekend. So let's give you a look at that seven day forecast. Showers will be possible Saturday into Sunday, but I don't think they're going to be nearly as numerous as today. So I do think we will slowly be drying things out. Remember, we do fall back this weekend, so we do gain that hour of sleep. That is, if you uh, if you don't have kids, which will probably, uh, they will probably get up at the same time. You know how that goes. Now, the sunset on Sunday will be at 438. So that is going to be an hour earlier. Tonight, the sun will set at 541. So the sunsets will get earlier. And as we go into next week, we do have more rain on tap for Monday, but it looks like we'll be drying things out for election day as temperatures hover in the mid to upper 50s. Yakima, a good chance for rain today. And then we're drying out this weekend. That clock indicating that we do fall back. Rain likely again Monday, and then a slow drying trend and a cooling trend as we head into much of next week. Seven day forecast for Walla Walla showing that rain is likely this weekend. Chances are a little bit higher there. And then we keep those rain chances pretty high into next week. Scattered showers will be possible for election day. Hermiston, rain likely today, tomorrow, and Sunday becoming a little bit more on the scattered side this weekend. And then more rain on Monday with us drying out just in time for election day. Back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. Now with Halloween over, it's now time to start thinking about holiday shopping. So if you're looking for gift ideas for someone special, or maybe you just want to treat yourself, or hey, even if you're looking for some artistic inspiration, we have the place for you. The Desert Fiber Arts Guild is hosting its 12th annual fall market today and tomorrow in Richland. They have handcrafted wearables, home decor, and so much more. Also, you can meet the artists who create them. Our Riley Fitzgerald stopped by and shows us what else to expect. Um, weaving demonstrations, spinning demonstrations. We have uh, a raffle of a beautiful um, throw that has been made by one of our groups. And then we also have a door pies raffle. So there's a lot of things to, to look at when you come. There's going to be more than 800 items ranging in price from $5 to $750 all made by Desert Fiber Arts Guild members Friday and Saturday for the fall market. And there are classes happening both days in the afternoon during the fall market. Friday's class will be on needle felting and learning how wool works. This gives people an opportunity to learn how felting occurs and learn something about how wool works. You always want to understand how whatever it is that you're doing works. And so this way you learn about wool and you learn what it does. And then Saturdays will be on... Potholder looming, which is a very... Um, inexpensive way to start to get to understand how weaving works and then you move on uh, to more complicated and more interesting forms of weaving but this is a good way to start to learn how the weaving process works. There are around 150 members of the Desert Fiber Arts Guild and the Guild is wanting more including younger members to learn and pass down some of the more complex crafts. One of the things I've noticed is that our younger members are joining into the sticks and hooks groups with a, with a lot of crocheting and knitting, and that group is wild. Uh, we have so much fun when you're in there. There's a lot of chatting going on, a lot of teaching going on, a lot of sharing information of how to do things easy, more easily, and uh, it's been great to see younger people come into the group. This is also the 50th anniversary of the Guild, which hopes to be going for many more years. This is a process that's been going on for 10,000 years. I mean, people have been doing these kinds of things. They're sustainable and will continue to, we hope, pass it on. The Fall Market is an annual fundraiser for the Nonprofit Guild. It's also to highlight the creative talents of its members. Again, it's today from 10 to 6 and tomorrow from 10 to 4 at the Central United Church, and that's 1124 Stevens Drive. 
Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, one of the best parts about the day after Halloween is seeing everybody's costumes. And we showed you some of our favorite celebrity costumes last hour, and we're looking at some more. And as we go to break, we're listening to Sweet November by SZA because it's the first day of November. Your entertainment headlines are right after this. Maria Cantwell knows prices are too high and we have to fight back. That's why she passed a law to take on big oil traders spiking gas prices and why she's fighting grocery store mergers that would lead to higher food prices. Cantwell also took on drug companies and won, capping insulin for seniors at $35 a month and capping seniors out-of-pocket expenses. I'm Maria Cantwell and I approve this message because I'll take on anyone to protect Northwest consumers. Hi, I'm Carrie Isaacson and I'm running for State Senate from the 16th District. Unlike my opponent, who's aligned with the extreme far right and anti-women's health care, I believe in practical solutions that put people first. I'll fight for better health care and good paying jobs. I'm a moderate Democrat who believes that our district must be at the table in Olympia and it's not. Vote Carrie Isaacson, State Senate. Initiative 2124, it's purposely misleading. So here's what you need to know. Independent analysts say if I-2124 passes, it will bankrupt our affordable long-term care benefit, leaving millions of Washingtonians with no options but private insurance that charges way too much and routinely denies coverage to millions with pre-existing conditions. Don't let it happen. Protect your long-term care benefits. Vote no on I-2124. This holiday season, believe in the magic of the North Pole. As you set sail for a holiday adventure like no other, marvel over the stunning light display along the magical journey to meet Santa. Experience the magic that only happens on Lake Coeur d'Alene. Even the Grinch can't resist the holiday cheer. Book during Santa's sneak peek week and enjoy 25% off tickets from November 15th to November 27th and discover the magic of the holiday season. Save with Bymart's latest savings book, including Federated Ordnance 9mm ammo. Now just $10.99. Bymart, saving our members more every day. Next DT from Universal Studios Hollywood. Trackers Fiona Renee is here. Plus, inside <laughs> Heidi Klum's Halloween Bash and hey, ET. Oprah's favorite thing. Next DT. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Tampa Bay visits Kansas City. Monday Night Football at 5 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In entertainment news, Halloween was yesterday, and the best part about the day after is looking at everybody's Halloween costumes. So this morning, we'll be looking at the best celebrity Halloween costumes for this year. Starting off, we're looking at the woman that always goes all out for Halloween. This is Heidi Klum with her boyfriend musician, Tom Collitz. And it took me a second, but you can see her face under the ET head. That is insane looking. So next up, we have, um, Selena Gomez with her boyfriend, musician Benny Blanco. They are characters from Alice in Wonderland. And then this right here is the Scandal cast doing the Challengers movie as their costume. I love that one. It's a good one. That's something I did not think of this year. And here we have Guillermo from Jimmy Kimmel. He's dressed up as Olivia Rodrigo with the Olivia Rodrigo herself. And then here is models Kendall Jenner and Hailey Bieber doing a rendition of The Simple Life's uh, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. They did a cute video to this too. And then there's Heidi Klum again. This was just really funny in general, but I love looking at all the costumes. And so we'll have uh, more on that later. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest at 630, a Yakima EMT is now one of only 33 people across the country honored with the Global Medical Response Stars of Life Award. We have why she's receiving this honor in the next half hour.
Democrat candidate Maria Beltran led a liberal Seattle group that tried to defund police and allowed chaos and violence to take over the streets. Like Beltran, House candidates Anna Kennedy and Chelsea Demas oppose initiatives that would lower gas prices and the capital income tax and allow you to opt out of the expensive long-term care tax. Seattle liberals Maria Beltran, Anna Kennedy, and Chelsea Demas do not share your values and are too extreme for Central Washington. Yakima County deserves a leader who listens and puts our community first. Hi, I'm Kyle Curtis, honored to serve you as your Yakima County Commissioner. Under Kyle's leadership, Yakima County has invested smartly in housing solutions, reduced homelessness, and streamlined local government to better serve you. I'm eager to keep working on what matters most to our community. Join me on November 5th in voting for Kyle Curtis for County Commissioner. Leadership that listens, leadership that delivers results. The last few years have been tough on Washington families who are facing record prices and wages just haven't kept up. But it's been a great few years for Congressman Dan Newhouse. Since he first got elected in 2015, his net worth has climbed from $2 million to almost $19 million. How'd he do that? By trading stocks of corporations that he votes to give billions of taxpayer dollars. It's time to put an end to Congressman Dan Newhouse's stock market hot streak. I'm Jared Sessler, and I approve this message. For over 30 years, Denver Mattress has been crafting factory direct mattresses with innovative design and unrivaled quality, improving the sleeping lives of millions of people one night at a time. And during the pre-Black Friday sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out the Summit Firm, only $349.99. And save 50 bucks on our Buena Vista lineup, or get 60 months no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. For 17 years, Senator Curtis King has delivered for you. That's why the media calls Curtis King the Republican in Olympia most likely to pass a bill. Senator King helped fund the Sozo Soccer Complex, giving local youth and adult soccer players a world-class recreational facility. Curtis King helped Perry Tech expand, providing thousands of local students with real-world skills. And he delivered funding for dozens of local road projects. I'm Senator Curtis King, and I'd appreciate your support. Thank you. You love the internet, but do you love your internet? Do frozen screens make your heart melt? Do buffering wheels give you butterflies? <laughs> Didn't think so. You should meet Zipply Fiber. It's faster, it's friendlier, it's fiber. Zipply is fiber optic internet. That means no lag and no buffering. Gotta love it. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go Zipply. Plans as low as 10 bucks a month. Be sure and vote. Mail-in ballots must be postmarked by 8 Tuesday night. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning. It is a damp start on this Friday. We're taking a live look out of our Kennewick Apple Valley Studio sky cam rather and you can see how the roads are wet at this time but the rain is on the light side and that'll be the case as we go throughout the rest of the morning and into the afternoon so we do have some scattered showers all across the region on this Friday so the rain like I said is falling in Kennewick it is a bit wet in the Prosser area also over toward Connell and even into Dayton and it is raining in Othello over toward the Hanford area area. We also have a few spotty showers near Hermiston and Pendleton, so it is a wet go along I-84 as you're heading to work this morning. Temperatures aren't bad. We're actually warmer than where we were at this time yesterday morning. It's 50 degrees in the Tri-Cities, 50. Walla Walla, we're at 50 degrees in Pendleton, 48 in Prosser. It is a bit colder, though, as you go up uh, closer to the east slopes of the Cascades. We're at 37 in Cleallum and 41 degrees in Ellensburg. So you will need the rain gear throughout the day today, so your umbrella will be the best friend. 37 in Yakima at 8. We're up to 46 at noon, 50 degrees for your high temperature there. In the Tri-Cities, starting off in the 40s, only rising into the mid to upper 50s. And then in Walla Walla, we're starting off in the upper 40s, rising to about 57 degrees this afternoon. Now, we do have rain in the forecast this weekend. We'll talk more about those rain chances and also have that seven-day forecast for you coming up in a little bit. Good morning, Northwest starts right now. 
This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. It is Friday, November 1st. Happy Friday. We're going to start off this half hour in crime related news. The Kennewick Police Department is crediting a shopper for potentially stopping a crime at the Columbia Center Mall. Police say the shopper called 911 after spotting a teen with what looked like a gun in the waistband of his pants. Officers got to the scene quickly and tracked down the teen, finding him before he entered a store. Authorities say the teen was arrested after they found the handgun and police are saying this is the perfect example of if you see something, say something. New this morning, the Richland School Board is releasing a statement to the public regarding concerns about the school district's budget. Now, RSD made headlines over the weekend after news broke out of their plans to lay off more than 30 paraeducators. In the letter released to the public, the board members say state funding for public education is not keeping up with the costs, and the superintendent has been working with the board in trying to make the budget work. However, the board says it's pausing the request to reduce paraeducators while they work on the budget. And the district says it will also evaluate where changes can be made with retirements or volunteers. To see more on the letter, head to our website. Making a difference, a Yakima EMT with American Medical Response is now one of only 33 across the nation to receive the Global Medical Response Stars of Life Award. It's one of the highest honors an EMS professional can receive. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us the award honors those who do extraordinary acts of service. The award recognizes AMR Yakima's Mickey Leslie for her life-saving actions on October 15th, 2023, when a family with two small children were involved in a rollover crash. I was off duty um, and my cousin had actually called me and she said, hey, somebody um, wrecked in our yard. I need you to come. There's people here that need help. So I said, okay, I'm coming. With her house only two minutes away, Leslie was first on the scene. But it was a little chaotic and uh, I was kind of taken back because I didn't have any equipment, but I just remembered like, you know, do your skills, do what you can do. First aid and calling 911 to let them know about the patient's injuries, staying with them until the ambulance and helicopter arrived. But it was really humbling to have them recognize me for this award for just, you know, something that I thought was common that I think any of us would do. Any of my coworkers would, you know, jump on it and be like, okay, I'm, I'm coming. Don't worry. I've got you. Leslie says she's wanted to save lives since she was 12 or 13. What a family camping trip took an unexpected turn. My mom, my dad and I went to go help uh, this patient who was trapped under their truck. It was a very long, long uh, extrication for this person, but the helicopter came and I just remember thinking that that was like the coolest job that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And since then, uh, that was always my dream and it still is my dream today. Leslie says she loves her job as an EMT, but her goal is to eventually become a paramedic so she can help even more people. Reporting from the Ackerman Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Emily. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, Apple Valley News Now is your home to the Seattle Kraken. And although they've had a rough last few games, one player is really standing out for his hot streak. Dan Hansen has that spotlight in just a few minutes. And as we go to break, we're listening to Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head by B.J. Thomas because they kept falling on my head today. <laughs> Keep it here. We'll be right back. Nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling so Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Today at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. The last few years have been tough on Washington families who are facing record prices and wages just haven't kept up. But it's been a great few years for Congressman Dan Newhouse. Since he first got elected in 2015, his net worth has climbed from $2 million to almost $19 million. How'd he do that? By trading stocks of corporations that he votes to give billions of taxpayer dollars. It's time to put an end to Congressman Dan Newhouse's stock market hot streak. I'm Jared Sessler, and I approve this message. 
Save now with Cascade Farm and Outdoors' latest mailer. Watch for it in your mailbox or pick up a copy in store. Buy one, get one 50% off on all area jeans. Purina Laina 40-pound crumble or pellet feed is just $14.99. Dickie's hooded flannel shirt jackets are $15 off. Save $20 on a Coleman 5-pound sleeping bag. Plus, all dog and cat canned food is 20% off. Store-wide savings are going on now at Cascade Farm and Outdoor. 27 years ago, I lived in these apartments. And for 27 years, I've seen streets go without repair. I've seen places like Columbia Fruit Packers lay off workers. Some of my neighbors have driven to Seattle for decent medical care. Because MAGA extremists, like my opponent Deb, care more about power and controlling women's bodies than getting results. I am ready to go to the west side because it's time to get results for the east side. I hope to earn your vote. 18 years, 32 years, 20 years, 35 years. A job not only supports a family, but it gives you dignity. I'm Maria Beltran. With warehouses closing and hundreds of jobs lost, it's time we elect a fighter. Like so many of us, my family struggles to keep up with the cost of groceries and afford rent. Your family's struggles are my family's struggles. I'll work hard for you in Olympia. Paid for by friends Maria Beltran. Affordable? Yeah, we got that. Stylish? Got that covered, too. Quality? You can bet on it. At Furniture Row, we stock furniture that's value-priced, built to last, and looks fabulous. And during the pre-Black Friday sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Plus, find huge savings on sofas and sectionals, dining groups, bedroom sets, and mattresses. Or score 60 months no interest. The pre-Black Friday sale, on now at Furniture Row. I will never forget the picture that I have. I'm the only one that's not smiling. Even though I'm with my close friends, I felt alone. I didn't feel pretty, I didn't feel confident. When I got Invisalign, I built my confidence. It was the best investment that I could do. These hands cook for 30 people, three meals a day. I can't stop when I have dry hands. I trust O'Keefe's. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief. If it works for these hands, it'll work for yours. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning. It is 641 and it is a bit damp outside on this Friday. So you will need the windshield wipers as you head out the door and you'll want to bring the umbrella to work with you as well as we are seeing showers from Connell down into the Tri-Cities over toward Dayton, Walla Walla, even a couple of spotty showers into portions of northeastern Oregon, just to the east of Pendleton and also just to the west of Hermiston. And we will likely continue to see these scattered showers on and off throughout the day. So I don't don't think it will rain all day at any one location, but you will need to prepare for scattered showers on and off throughout the day today. It's 50 degrees right now in Tri-Cities, not nearly as cold as it was at this time yesterday. 50 in Walla Walla, 48 in Prosser, 43 Yakima, and a little bit colder up toward Cleelum at this time. And the winds are up and they are a bit breezy, anywhere between 10 and about 20 miles per hour. And it will be a breezy day today with rain falling throughout the day as well. And you can see that on our Futurecast computer model, just scattered showers on and off throughout your Friday. Rain should be on on the light side and won't add up to much as temperatures climb into the mid to upper 50s and it will be colder closer to Ellensburg with highs in the upper 40s. I just checked some of the passes because it is snowing in elevation. Snow, snow call me pass if you're headed up to Seattle this morning. It is snowing there, but no restrictions in place at this time. We'll take a closer look at that weekend forecast coming up in a little bit. Jessica, back to you. The Kraken Player Profile, sponsored by Prosser Memorial Health. The Seattle Kraken have had some frustrating last few games, losing the last three going into the game against the Montreal Canadiens. But one player who stood out positively is defenseman Brandon Montour. Dan Hansen has this week's Kraken Player Spotlight. The Kraken taking their frustrations out on the abs, scoring just seconds into the game. Brandon Montour was on such a hot streak, I'm surprised the ice didn't melt under him. The Kraken defenseman netted his first career hat trick in the NHL and one assist in the 8-2 thumping of the Canadians. This is a game that obviously you remember and 
you know you cherish it and you enjoy it with obviously the, the guys and um, you know we keep carrying it in here. Montour has had a year helping the Florida Panthers win their first ever Stanley Cup to signing a seven year near 50 million dollar contract with Seattle in the offseason. Dan Bilesma in his first year with Seattle says Montour's abilities on the ice are just as valuable as what he brings off the ice. Monty, um, you know, wasn't, uh, he, he does it with a lot of flair and uh, that's his personality and that's what he brings, uh, that's what he brings to the room. Montour says his monster game wouldn't happen without the help of his teammates. We got a good group, um, guys enjoy each other and you know, that's what it's about. Montour and the guys chased Montreal's starting goaltender with, get this, five goals on 10 shots. And another little piece of information, they scored on their first two shots of the game. Dan Hansen, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Dan. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, daylight saving time ends this weekend. We have what exact time you'll need to set your clocks back for one hour. That's coming up in your morning sprint. The first uh, Tiffany Savona will have your full weather forecast. Keep it right here. Yakima County deserves a leader who listens and puts our community first. Hi, I'm Kyle Curtis, honored to serve you as your Yakima County Commissioner. Under Kyle's leadership, Yakima County has invested smartly in housing solutions, reduced homelessness, and streamlined local government to better serve you. I'm eager to keep working on what matters most to our community. Join me on November 5th in voting for Kyle Curtis for County Commissioner. Leadership that listens, leadership that delivers results. For over 30 years, Denver Mattress has been crafting factory direct mattresses with innovative design and unrivaled quality, improving the sleeping lives of millions of people one night at a time. And during the pre-Black Friday sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out the Summit Firm, only $349.99. And save 50 bucks on our Buena Vista lineup, or get 60 months no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Nutcracker Magical Christmas Ballet celebrates the season with America's favorite holiday tradition. Gather your loved ones and be enchanted by an all-star international cast. Returning to the Capitol Theater, November 18th and 19th. Tickets at nutcracker.com. 18 years, 32 years, 20 years, 35 years. A job not only supports a family, but it gives you dignity. I'm Maria Beltran. With warehouses closing and hundreds of jobs lost, it's time we elect a fighter. Like so many of us, my family struggles to keep up with the cost of groceries and afford rent. Your family's struggles are my family's struggles. I'll work hard for you in Olympia. Paid for by friends Maria Beltran. The Kraken hits the midpoint of a long road trip with a showdown in Ottawa. Just keep playing fast, keep playing with aggression, keep rolling it over, and you will have success. Kraken, Senators, pregame at 3.30, Saturday on MeTV. Save now with Bymart's latest savings book. Watch for it in your mailbox or pick up a copy in store. Find our best savings as you walk in the door in the bonus zone. Owner's choice bath tissue and paper towels are just $19.99 each. Franz cookies are two for $5. Extra detergent is hot priced at $2 off. Plus pick up Brown and Haley Rocas for just $4.99. 16 pages of store-wide savings are going on now only at Bymart. Hi, I'm Deb Mangeris, and as a longtime CPA, I can assure you, Olympia needs to tighten its belt. That's why I'm running for the House of Representatives. I've been a Wapato resident and apple orchardist all my life, and I have been active for decades in my community, helping make this a better place to live. Now I want to represent you in Olympia to bring common sense and hardworking values to the Capitol. Join me November 5th in voting for Deb Mangeris. Tampa Bay visits Kansas City. Monday Night Football at 5 on Apple Valley News Now. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. 
It is 648 on your Friday, and you can see traffic starting to pick up out of our Apple Valley studio, cam studio camera rather in Kennewick. And the roads are a bit damp. We are seeing a little bit of light rain move across the Columbia Basin this morning and along the foothills of the Blues and the east slopes of the Cascades with the more concentrated precipitation really along the I-5 corridor out toward Seattle. So the rain is light this morning, but it will persist through the morning and into the afternoon hours. But you will need the rain gear and Prosser over toward Tri-Cities, Walla Walla, Dayton, Connell, all seeing a little bit of light rain. Rain is to the east of Pendleton right now and some light rain just to the north of Hermiston. But as the kids are heading out to catch the bus, you want to give them the rain jacket or the umbrella this morning. Our temperatures not doing too bad. It is a bit warmer than where it was at this time yesterday morning. We're sitting at 50 in Tri-Cities, 50 right now in Walla Walla, 50 degrees in Pendleton, 43 in Yakima and 47 degrees in Toppenish. So here's what to expect on your future cast. We do expect the showers to continue. Snow continues to fall across the Cascades and we do have some snow falling at the passes, at pass level, I should say, as well. But I just checked Snoqualmie Pass. There are no restrictions at this time, but it is snowing there. If you are headed out to dinner this evening, I would take the umbrella with you. Temperatures around 4 or 5 o'clock into the mid and upper 50s for many of us and the showers while they will continue this evening and overnight notice how there's not going to be as many of them so just a few showers will linger overnight temperatures will be dropping into the 40s upper 30s across some of our cooler locations 39 in Prosser 36 in Toppenish 42 by tomorrow morning in the Tri-Cities and 40 degrees in Pendleton how about the weekend I know a lot of you have plans and we do have some spotty showers that will be possible expect a lot of clouds maybe a few breaks and peaks of sunshine here and there, but it's not going to be nearly as wet as we're anticipating today. We do fall back this weekend. Just a reminder to turn your clocks back one hour before bed Saturday night. Also a good idea to change those batteries out in your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide detectors. Here's the updated sunrise and sunset. Today the sun will set around 540. Sunday the sun will set at 438. So I know, I know personally, I'm not a fan of the earlier sunsets. I know a lot of folks aren't, but that is going to be the case Sunday going forward. Here is your seven day forecast. Rain likely today, and then those rain chances coming down as we head into the weekend. So it certainly won't rain all weekend long, but there will be some showers that will be possible. Better chances for rain on Monday, and then it looks like we're going to dry things out for a couple of days, which is good news for Tuesday on election day. 80% chance for showers today in Yakima, 50 degrees for your high, a little bit cooler there. And then those rain chances really coming down this weekend with rain chances going back up on Monday. As for Walla Walla, rain chances stay a little bit higher this weekend, but it doesn't mean it's going to rain the entire weekend. And we will likely see those rain chances stick around into Election Day there as temperatures start to cool down. Hermiston, 58 today, showers possible on and off through the weekend. But again, this weekend not looking as wet as today and the rain really not adding up to much and that clock indicating remember we do fall back jessica thank you tiffany now keep it right here we've got the morning sprint up next but first here's what's coming up on good morning america in this morning's gma first look forget about the halloween candy it's time to talk turkey it seems thanksgiving day is upon us Plenty of stores have already rolled out promotions you can take advantage of, and you can even score deals for the entire meal. There's a lot of competition out there. It can create a little bit of confusion, but it's also an opportunity for strategic shoppers to save a lot of money on groceries before Thanksgiving. There are so many turkey-centric promotions that you should do everything in your power to avoid paying full price out of pocket for a turkey. Full treat, back wall. Let's go, girls. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll be live from a turkey farm with what you need to know to prep for Thanksgiving. With your GMA First Look, I'm Trevor Alt, ABC News, New York. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. 
because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. Now, the morning sprint. It's now time for a six o'clock morning sprint. We're going to start off in your national headlines. We're just four days away from the election. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are both focusing on the Midwest today. Trump has rallies in Michigan and Wisconsin, and Harris has three events in Wisconsin also. More than 62 million Americans have already voted across the country. And reminder, we will have live results election night, both on air and online. And the atmosphere over the Antarctic seems to be making a comeback. That's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and NASA. A hole that opens each year in the ozone layer over Earth's southern pole is the seventh smallest since it began recovering in 1992. The NOAA says this is due to declines in ozone depleting chemicals, and they say the ozone layer could fully recover by 2066. Now to your top five local stories you need to know this morning. The West Richland Police Department is investigating two separate incidents of vandalism. They happened at the Bombing Range Sports Complex and the Heights at Red Mountain Park. Both suffered several thousand dollars in damages. Police don't think the incidents are connected and there are no leads in either case. So police are asking for the public's help. The Richland School Board is releasing a statement to the public this after people became concerned about the layoff of several paraeducators. RSD says state funding is not keeping up with the costs and they're working on the budget. They're pausing the request to reduce paraeducators while budget work continues. And the Desert Fiber Arts Guild is hosting its 12th annual fall market today and tomorrow in Richland. They have handcrafted wearables, home decor, and much more. Also, you can meet the artists who create them. The fall market is an annual fundraiser for the nonprofit guild, and it's also to highlight the creative talent of its members. Again, it's today from 10 to 6 and Saturday from 10 to 4 at the Central United Church, and that's 1124 Stevens Drive. Also a reminder, daylight saving time ends on Sunday at 2 a.m., so clocks will be turned back one hour. And this runs from the second Sunday in March to the first Sunday in November. Lawmakers at both the local and federal levels have pushed over the years to make daylight saving time permanent. The Senate in 2022 approved a measure to make it permanent, but the bill never came to a vote in the House. And Bend County is making sure everyone who wants to vote gets the chance to this Saturday. They're not usually open Saturdays, but tomorrow they'll be open at the Bend County Voting Center at the Prosser Courthouse from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. You'll be able to register to vote, get a replacement ballot, or receive one over the counter. And you don't have to live in Bend County to stop by and register. And now to an update on a trending story we brought you a couple of weeks ago. The Oregon Bats are bringing home some bragging rights for the third year in a row. A bat from Oregon has taken first place in the Bureau of Land Management's Bat Beauty Contest. And this year's winner was my favorite, Horry Potter. So the photo was taken by Emma Busk, a BLM BLM wildlife technician and Horry Potter beat out Lestat, the western small-footed bat from Idaho in the final round. So congrats to Horry Potter. And thank you guys for watching Good Morning Northwest. You can always find updates on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Have a wonderful weekend.